So this is the Forza 350. It's a 2022 model. I've owned the bike now for nearly a year and just covered 3,000 miles. I've ridden it all the way through winter in all sorts of uh, horrible weather. And spring is here and um, so it's time to do a little review on the, uh, the bike so far. The good. The engine's good. It's really good. Obviously it's a 350cc single, um, it's very very smooth, it's quite powerful for what it is, really really good away from the lights, decent on the motorway, great when it's two up, so the engine's a real strong point. Fuel economy, I'm currently getting just under 80 miles per gallon, I do ride it fairly hard to work, I have a 12 mile an hour, 12 mile commute up uh, Hill and Dale. Um, so it's not a particularly smooth ride I've got. Um, 78.5 is what I'm actually getting, which is okay. Uh, a little disappointing compared to some modern cars, etc. Um, but in moped terms, it's pretty good. The seat's really good. Some people have said it's a little bit firm. Um, to be fair, it was for the first 500 miles, but it's bedding in really, really well now. Uh, you can move around in it, and it's really, really comfortable. I've had no issues with the seat. The brakes are really good. They're not absolutely sports bike brakes, um, but they're absolutely good enough to stop this bike. And they never feel overpowered either. And they're very, very progressive. So big thumbs up for the brakes. CVT gearbox is super smooth. Um, there's just nothing with the engine in the gearbox at all. It's really, really good. Uh, you won't find any faults with it. I thought the CVT would be really annoying and whiny and revvy. And to be quite honest, it's not. It's a really torquey, smooth power plant. And it's absolutely superb. The underseat storage is wonderful. You can fit two full face helmets underneath there and some other bits and pieces. And there's a small storage cubby um, in the dashboard which is uh, really really good and generally speaking the bike is pretty good to be fair uh, the fit and finish is generally okay I have had a couple of problems with the fuel flap uh, failing that's a common problem apparently and the electronic ignition barrel did freeze up over winter um, so I couldn't get the bike started and I was actually late for work uh, apart from that the bike's been reliable so far the bad parts though and they are really bad. Uh, the front suspension is just absolutely awful. So it's rock hard. Uh, incredibly unforgiving. And you go over something like um, a small manhole cover or a rut in the road and it bottoms out uh, and you hit the bump stops. So you couple that with the small wheels and tyres which are also very hard as the tyres it's not a particularly soft compound. Um, and unless you go on the smoothest of tarmac the bike is nervous, jittery, uh, especially around town, around roundabouts that have got holes in it or ruts. It's pretty awful to be fair, the front end. It softens up and gets quite good though at high speed. If you're going through the twisties, the bike's surprisingly good. Uh, and the chassis is stiff and the front suspension comes into its own a little bit. But like I say, around town. Any unbroken tarmac, ruts in the road, repairs to the road where they've been putting cable TV and etc. Anything like that, it's really, really, really bad. Um, it's, in fact, it's awful. To be quite honest. Uh, crosswinds, um, I've obviously been riding it through win winter in some terrible weather. Um, it's one of the worst bikes I've ridden in crosswinds. It's reasonably good head on, obviously, you've got a decent fairing, the adjustable screen's really, really good. But I've absolutely had to fight to keep it on the road, um, down to sort of 20 miles an hour on the way home some evenings. It's, it's been awful in crosswinds, even tonight in this lovely weather we've got here tonight, uh, it's been pretty bad. And sort of any temperatures below 10 degrees, if you're sort of planning to ride all year round and you're sort of riding on in sort of colder temperatures, again, the combination of the hard front end, the small tyres, uh, they're very, very hard. The rubber doesn't seem to soften up until it gets to about 10 degrees. Uh, and to be quite honest, this week's been pretty good as a, as a commute for me. Um, but if you're going to use it as an all year round bike, I'll be very, very wary um, uh, using it as an all year round commuter, to be quite honest. 
The only other another uh, annoying little part is where the indicator store car is and the horn. It's quite near together and you'll quite often find yourself pressing the horn and not the indicators or you're pressing info A for the dashboard instead of the horn and the other annoying thing is the um, flasher or the headlight main beam so your pass is actually on your low beam rather than on the top which is your high beam so that's a little bit weird and obviously the electric screen control up and down is next to the uh, high and low beam switch so again quite often until you got really used to the bike you quite find yourself turning the screen up and down uh, and not your headlights um, but all told it's a comfortable bike it's it does sound really really good for what it is but as an all-year-round proposition I'm gonna have to think twice about the bike for this year and possibly get something else or a different sort of style of bike because uh, as it is um, it's not really uh, an all-year-round commuter